This conference will now be recorded. <clears throat> okay, uh, let's start. Right, so in the last class, uh, we have seen this example uh, how to create radio buttons on selection screen. Okay, now in continuation to the same example, so if you observe the execution of this one, <coughs> so I'll execute. I'll enter some input values. So after entering the input values, the user has to choose what? Uh, one of the radio button. Okay. After choosing the radio button, okay, the user needs to click on what? Execute button. Yesterday, we understood that whenever we click on the execute button, SAP triggers an event called as what? Start of selection. Okay. On the selection screen, whenever the user clicks on this execute button, SAP trigger start of selection event. So on clicking this, I got the result. Okay. Now here, <clears throat> my next requirement is uh, uh, the moment I select the radio button. Okay. The moment I select the radio button, I should display the result. Means again, user should not click on what execute button. The moment, if any one of the radio button is selected, I should display the result in a pop up. Okay, I don't want to display it on the uh, list processing screen. I want to display the result inside a pop-up. So yesterday, we have seen how to what display the pop-up by using what message. So in this yesterday's case, just we gave the string here. Now, now what you have to do, we have to give the string as well as the result in the pop-up only. Okay, so we should know what is the event it triggered whenever the user selects a what a radio button in the selection screen uh, radio button group okay so same kind of thing uh, by default the last radio button should be selected at any point of time user should be able to select only one radio button okay and here the change i need to write is on selecting one of the radio button okay on selecting one of the radio button what you have to do, we have to identify the selected radio button, perform the appropriate operation and display the result. Okay, display the result in a what information dialog box in an information dialog box. So almost same. But the only thing is, the moment I select, I should perform the operation. So what I'll do is, since everything is same, instead of redeveloping the program, I'll make a copy of this program. So how do you make a copy of the programs? Go to the initial screen. Okay, make sure that this source program is in active state. Okay, it is an active state only. So this is my source program, existing program. I'll click on the copy button. <coughs> I'll give the target program name as 4. Okay, target program name is 4. I'll click on copy. Done. Understood. I repeat. This is my source program. On the application toolbar, we have the copy button. Click on that. Provide the target program name. Let me give it as something 4. Click on copy. You'll get some checkboxes. For the time being, just select all the checkboxes. I can select one by one. Or you can see in this pop-up, we have a button what select all. If I click on this, everything will be selected. Just click on copy. I'll save that in a package. Uh, what package? Local object only. Done. <clears throat> right. So everything is same. Uh, we know all these things. Yeah, I'm designing the block here. Done, 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 done. Yeah. So we wrote the uh, history logic inside which event? Start of selection. Because... Yesterday, uh, we are clicking on the execute button. Now, I don't want to click on the execute button. So, let me comment this logic for the time being. I'm commenting the start of selection logic. Okay, how do you comment a block of lines? Select the lines. Select the lines. Hold the control key and less than symbol. Right, so everything is what commented. And I require initialization event. To initialize the uh, fields okay so when I execute
let me activate the selection text also selection text also what copy it I'll just click on activate so when I execute yeah so what is the requirement now <coughs> the moment I select the radio button I should identify the selected radio button and display the result I don't want to click on what execute button okay so what you have to do is since I am doing the action on this radio button group since I am doing the action on the radio button group I need to assign something called as function code okay so let us understand the concept of function code first just try to understand suppose assume that we have a screen okay in this screen I'll design some three buttons try to understand I'll design some three buttons push buttons okay so assume that I'll give the labels as button one button two and button three okay the names of these buttons okay uh, just like if you take this example every element on your screen should have what some name na? suppose if you observe here what is the name of this input field p underscore what x okay the name of the second input field is what p underscore y what are the names of the radio buttons p underscore r1 r2 and r3 and what r4 r5 they are the names of the radio button so what I am trying to say is every element on the screen should have what some name for unique identification so in this case also I assume that we have three buttons what are the labels I gave for the buttons button 1 button 2 button 3 okay so these buttons should have what some name so assume that the name of this button is something B1 for example okay the name of this button is B2 okay and the name of this button is what b3 okay right so i designed the screen which contains some three buttons and the names of the buttons are b1 b2 and b3 now what is the purpose of these buttons when do we go for this push buttons the user can click on these buttons so if i click on this button button one I should do some operation if I click on the second button some other operation okay so these buttons are for what user interaction okay so when I click on the button in the runtime means the selection screen is displayed in the runtime whenever I click on the button my program should identify which button the user has selected one second please yeah so my program should identify which button the user has what interacted okay so in order to identify the interacted button for every button we need to assign something called as what function code okay I repeat every element on the screen should have what name similarly with whichever element you are interacting to identify the interacted element we should have something called as function code okay so assume that the function code for this button I'll give it as FC1 for example okay the function code of this second button okay I'll give it as something FC2 any names I'm giving it as FC1 FC2 FC2 and FC3 function code of the third button is what FC3 so this button every button will have a name and every button will have what function code name is used for what unique identification of the button okay and this function code is used to identify which button was interacted in the runtime okay interacted by the user in the runtime so assume that the selection screen is displayed with how many buttons three buttons now I'll click on this button which button button 2 so what happens is when I click on this button yesterday we have seen some two events what are the initialization event and uh, what is the other event start of selection we understood that initialization is the first event triggered whenever we start the program execution similarly we understood that start of selection event is triggered when you click on the execute button on the selection screen similarly on the selection screen whenever the user clicks on a button push button SAP will trigger an event called as at the selection screen okay we have an event called as what at selection screen so this is the event triggered this is the event triggered 
when or the user clicks on what push button okay done and how to identify the selected button means i believe uh, last class or last two days back in one of the example i told about system fields system fields means those are the fields given by what sap itself and we understood that system field starts with what sy hyphen the values for those fields will be set by what sap itself similarly we have one system field called as what sy ucom so assume that we have a system field called as sy ucom so this sy ucom will contain what value the function code of the button the function code of the button which you have interacted suppose if i click on the button 2 what is the function code of the button i give fc2 so this fc2 will go and sit in what sy ucom means i need to check the value of sy ucom and i can understand which button was interacted means if sy ucom equal to fc1 means you have to understand that the user has interacted with what first button if sy ucom is equal to fc2 the second button understood i repeat this once again every button on the selection screen needs to be associated with what function code function code is used for unique sorry function code is used for identifying the selected button in the run time suppose the screen is displayed to the user if the user clicks on the second button what happens sap will trigger a event called as what event at selection screen event and the function code of that interacted button will be captured in the system field called as what sy ucom so what is the function code of the second button fc2 understood suppose if the user clicks on the third button what is the function code of this fc3 so sy ucom will be overwritten with what fc2 will be overwritten with what fc3 similarly okay so keeping this in mind so if the user clicks on the button what is the event tr triggered at selection screen is the event triggered okay at selection screen is the event triggered okay and the function code of that button will be captured in what system field sy ucom right so on click done similarly in our case now we are having the selection screen we are having some radio buttons no all these radio buttons belongs to what group what is the group name i gave p and uh, sorry uh, grp one is a group name okay so i am having some five radio buttons all these five radio buttons all these five radio buttons belongs to a group called as what group one okay so if you go back to our example yeah, i copied the third program to fourth so what is the group name here group one okay done so since all of them belongs to only one group since all of them belongs to only one group you need you can assign only what one function code but whereas here these are three different buttons they doesn't belong to any group they are individual elements so i need to assign separate function code but whereas here this is a group of radio buttons which belongs to what same group so for this group also i need to assign what function code so assume that here function code of my radio button group is what fc1 only one function one function code i can assign because they belong to what group okay done now what i'll do in the run time user will select what one of the radio button understood the moment i select sorry the moment i select the radio button okay the moment i select a radio button suppose if i select what third radio button and assume that every radio button will have the names na what are the names of this radio button p underscore r1 this is p underscore r2 and this is p underscore r3 this is p underscore r4 and this is p underscore what r5 each radio button will have what name and they belong to only one group group one since they belong to only one group i can assign only one function code assume that i'll assign the function code as what fc1 so in the earlier case whenever the user interacts with the button what is the event triggered at selection screen similarly similarly whenever the user selects any one of the radio button in the run time sap will trigger a event called as 
at selection screen at selection screen on radio button group at selection screen on radio button group this is the event triggered whenever the user selects a radio button in the group and here also same thing what happens the function code the function code of that group will be captured in the system field what is the system field sci you come what is the function code of the entire group fc1 and how do we identify the selected radio button already we know radio button will contain either space or x as what values means what is the value of this uh, suppose uh, p underscore r1 i have not selected this contains what space okay and p underscore r2 again it is not selected it contains what space there is null value i selected the third radio button so this will contain what p underscore r3 equal to what x uppercase x am i clear p underscore r3 equal to what uppercase x which indicates what it is selected similarly the other two radio buttons p underscore r4 is equal to what space and again p underscore r5 is again what space okay so i repeat once again what is the understanding here whenever the user selects a radio button in the radio button group sap triggers what event at selection screen on radio button group and the function code of that group will be captured in the system field what psi u com psi u com and the value of the selected interacted radio button will contain what value x since i selected the third radio button if the value of that radio button will contain what x okay so this is on what selection in case of radio buttons we call it as a selection in case of buttons i am calling it as a click on click so for buttons the event triggered is at selection screen for radio buttons the event triggered is what at selection screen on radio button group any questions please ask me okay no questions fine so let us implement it now so i copied the third example to the fourth example so what i have to do since i need to what perform the action the moment i select a radio button i need to assign what function code i can assign only what one function code so how do i assign here see this is my uh, what radio button here i'll say for assigning the function code we have to use addition called as user command user command you can give any name i'll give the name as what fc1 any name you can give abc xyz whatever you want you can give it i gave it as what fc1 i'll try to assign function code for the second radio button also i'll say user command fc2 let me check whether i'll get any errors good so i got an error here user command may only occur in the first parameter of what radio button group user command may only occur in the first parameter of a radio button group so i cannot assign multiple function codes i can assign only one function code for the entire group so what is the group function code name here fc1 done now yesterday what is the event handle start of selection because yesterday we are assuming that user has to click on what execute button but now what is the requirement on selecting one of the radio button the moment i select only i need to identify what selected radio button so whenever we select whenever we select any radio button in the group what is the event triggered just now we have seen what is that at selection screen on radio button group what is the group name here grp1 understood at selection screen on radio button group grp one done so i need to check the system field na how do you check if what or i'll go for case case sci u com understood case sci u com understood uh, just like switch statement in c c plus java we have switch statement here we have what case case sci u com what is that when fc1 and one more thing here uh, what is the function code i assigned fc1 in lower case na but when it is captured in the system field psi u com it is always captured in what upper case understood in any event the function code is always captured in what upper case even though 
I gave it as lower case in my program. In the runtime, when it is captured in SciUcom, it is always captured in what upper case. So I need to compare with what upper case. So when what FC1 do so and so. When FC1 do so and so. So what is the logic? If same logic, no? similar logic. So let me uncomment this. How to uncomment at a time? Select the lines. Done. Okay. I'll just remove all these things. Done. Okay. So I started case here. How do you co close the case? End for if is what? End if. End for case is what? End case. End for case is what? End case. So case I you com when FC1. Okay. If it is FC1, then I am identifying which radio button is selected, whether R1, R2, R3, R4. Okay. This logic remains what? Same. But what I want, I don't want to display it on the LPI screen. If I use write statement, write statement will always display the output on list processing screen. But I want it on what? I want it on what? A information dialog box. So I don't want this part now. Okay. The moment I select, I should display the result in the information dialog box. So I should go for what? Message. So here let me remove this write statement. I'll try to use what? Message. Message. Okay. It is giving me error. So we'll see how to do it. Okay. Done here also. I'll just remove the write statements. So I need to display it in what? Information box. Done. And initialization event is the first event triggered. Save it. Check for the syntax. No errors. Done. Okay. So what is the requirement now? This result should be displayed in what? Information box. Okay. So how do you display? I want to give the message as well as what? The value. Okay. I want to display the message as well as the value. So see what I'll do here. Just try to understand this. This message statement this message statement will always take what string it will always take what string group of what characters but where is the result stored now inside this variable now, which is an integer variable if I double click on this what type of variable here integer so see the adjustment that you have to do I cannot display the integer in the message box so see the, see the technique let me declare some two variables data Yeah, data. I'll declare a variable v underscore str1 type what string. Try to understand. I'll declare another variable v underscore str2 type string group of characters. Then I'll declare another variable v underscore message any name type what string. So I declared what three string variables. I declared three string variables. Now see the technique what I'll do here. Here I'm doing addition. Now. So here I'll say Okay, v underscore str1 is equal to, I'll say what, sum of what, or before using the variables, better be clear. Clear what v underscore, or let me cover that later on. I'll say v underscore str1 is equal to what? Sum of two numbers. Sum of two numbers is none. And then I'll say, v underscore str2 is equal to z means uh, equal to v underscore z what is this v underscore z v underscore z is integer v underscore str2 is what string so what i am doing here i am assigning the numeric value to what string variable okay it should take then what i'll do i'll say okay clear v underscore msg see what i'll do i have to combine this two now i have to combine these two so i'll say what concatenate we have one string function we have one string function called as what concatenate combine what v underscore str1 and what v underscore str2 into what is the target variable v underscore msg separated by what space understood in this v underscore str1 i am storing some string and when v underscore str2 i am storing the result then before I concatenate to this one, I'm just clearing. If any old value is there, it will clear that old value. Then I'm combining str1 and str2 into what? msg separated by what? Space. Then I'll say message. What is the final variable? v underscore msg type what? i. Type information 
message. Understood? This message will always take what? String. V underscore image is nothing but string only. Na? It is of type what? String. So, I am writing some logic to concatenate this uh, string and the result. And I am concatenating both of them into the final variable what? V underscore image. Let me check it now. I have done it only for addition. Let me check. Right? I will choose addition. Good. What I got? Sum of two numbers is what? 35. Okay. This is V underscore str1. This is V underscore str2. Both of them is combined into what? V underscore msg. Repeat the same process for what? <coughs> other blocks. Other else blocks. So what I will do here? Yeah. Here I will say. What? Hmm. V underscore str1 is equal to or let me do it here only. I will say V underscore str1 is equal to what? Difference of two numbers is. Okay, done. And then I will say here Uh, okay, you are not printing there now. Okay, so let me directly try to print this. I'll remove this block. I'll say v underscore str2 equal to what? v underscore z. And then I'll say clear v underscore msg. Then same thing. I'll just copy this. Concatenate v underscore str1 and str2 into v underscore msg separate by what? Space. Let me check it. When I execute, I'll give some value 20 and 15. I'll choose difference. Difference of two numbers is 5. I'll choose addition. I got sum of two numbers is 35. Now I'll say this is something 20 and 45. What is the result? Minus 25. I'll choose difference. Ah, 25 minus. So again, what you have to do? You have to remove this iPhone from the right hand side. Keep it what? Left hand side. Keep it left hand side. So that adjustment we have to do. So what I'll do here is, yeah. <clears throat> hmm. Hmm. How do you address that? I have to show it as minus 25. Let's say we have seen what? No gap. No sign all those things. That is in the right statement. Now I need to do it for this message also. Hmm? How can we address? Here I will say if V underscore Z what if it is greater than or equal to zero okay i'm printing this as it is no issues no issues done else here i'll say else if v underscore z or not else if just i can say else if it is not greater than or equal to zero obviously it is what negative value okay what i have to do i have to remove the sign symbol from what v underscore z how can we do it I have to remove the sign symbol from V underscore Z. Hmm, anyone? Yesterday, if you observe the yesterday's case, if you see the yesterday's example, third example, we are able to remove that sign, all those things, but these are available as part of which statement? Right statement. Now I am not using the right statement. Okay, so I need to do the changes here only. So how can we address that? Hmm, anyone? If it is greater than or equal to zero, I am putting it like this. Else. Okay, let me say like this first. Difference of two numbers is iPhone. Okay, let me say like this first. Done. Now I will say clearing. Done, done, done. Okay, so just observe here. No errors. Right, I will choose 20 and 15. Yeah, I got this is fine. Positive value fine. I'll choose addition 35 done. Working fine. 
now I'll say this is 35, I should get minus 15. What I got difference of two numbers is minus 15, but this symbol I need to remove it. From the right hand side, I need to remove this symbol. So what we can do? Anyone? Srikant, Ramshi. What we can do? I can't use no sign here because that has that is available in the right statement. How do you remove the negative symbol here? Calculate length and clear last position. But how do we calculate the length? String length. Huh? String length will always take a string variable. Huh? But V underscore Z is what? V underscore Z is numeric. I cannot use string length for this V underscore Z. One second, I'll declare a variable length type i. I'll say length is equal to what? String length of what? V underscore Z I can't use because V underscore Z is what? Numeric. Yeah, it is giving an error. String length is unknown. Oh, I need to give space here. Let me check. Save, check, check, check. No. What is saying here? V underscore Z must be a character type data object. Data type C, character, alpha, numeric, date, time, or string. Okay, one thing we can do is, okay, let me remove this here. One thing, I'll just declare it here. Okay, I declared one variable what? Length type i, v underscore length type i. <clears throat> okay, here, um, okay. Mm. One second. I'll just remove this here also. Control X, Control V. Here also I'll say Control X, Control V. Done. So here I'll say uh, V underscore. I'll explain. Uh, let me try this first. String length of what is the variable V underscore MSG? Okay. Done. 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 Now I'll say v underscore position type i i'm declaring one more interior variable let me try yeah i'll say v underscore position is equal to v underscore length minus one v underscore length minus one okay done then i'll say Let me declare another variable v underscore temp type string v underscore temp type string then here I'll say v underscore temp v underscore temp done here also I'll say v underscore temp done now I'll say clear v underscore msg v underscore msg equal to equal to v underscore temp plus plus zero of v underscore position okay done then let me try to display that done here i'm displaying okay let me try it once then i'll explain i'm getting error v underscore position is not defined comma check it no errors yeah, i'll choose first difference this is fine i'm getting the positive value let me go for addition fine now let me say this as something 45 i'll choose difference good 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 i got what difference of two numbers is what minus 25 i'm able to display that okay so I'll explain the logic. Just leave it for the timing. Let me complete the rest of the blocks. Then I'll explain. Okay. Done. Yeah. Similarly, I have to do it for product also. Now, let me just copy it from here. Yeah. 
yeah, for product I will say Vn square str1 equal to what product of what two numbers is one so done 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 similarly I have to do it for division also Vn square str1 is equal to what division of two numbers is so and so done 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 yeah done yeah, let me try all the things I'll give 56 or let me give something 43 done I'll choose difference what I got difference of numbers minus 23 addition is 63 done product 860 and I'm doing the division 0 yeah 20 by 43 is what 0 point so and so but since it is a numeric value it cannot store decimals okay working fine none radio button is selected fine I'll choose division now yes division of two numbers is what 4 okay difference fine working fine none radio button selected I'll choose difference difference of two numbers is what minus 4 working fine okay so let me explain this so first of all what is the focus here whenever we select a radio button in the radio button group what is the event triggered at selection screen on radio button group and the function code of that radio button will be captured in the system field what say ucom okay so that's the reason i am handling that event here at selection screen on radio button group yeah if the user has selected the addition radio button what is the value of the first radio button x na p underscore r1 equal to what x so i am doing the calculation this calculated result is stored inside what variable v underscore z v underscore z is what type integer i cannot display integers as it is in the message message will always take character variable message will always take character as what input so that's the reason what i am doing first i am assigning a string to str1 then i am assigning a numeric value to what str2 here numeric values can be stored in strings but reverse is not possible strings i cannot store in numerics okay so this is possible done so i need to combine these two how do you combine we have one built-in string function called as what concatenate concatenate means combine it will con con concatenate str1 and str2 into what mag separated by what space separated by space if i don't use separated by what happens see let me comment this okay so suppose here i'll choose addition what happened sum of two numbers is 35 i'm not getting any space so since i want a space between the string and the value i use the addition called what separated by what space not only space whatever you want you can do i can be separated by at the rate whatever it is okay any character so i'm going for what space done then i'm using the message for display i indicates what here information message as we have seen that now let us come to our this particular uh, difference okay now assume that try to understand uh, we have p underscore x p underscore is assume that i'll enter 20 p underscore y i'll enter something 33 for example okay so here what i am doing here i am doing the difference so v underscore z is how much what v underscore z is what minus 13 minus 13 but it will be stored as what 13 minus na as we have seen it is stored as what 13 minus so what i am doing here if v underscore z is greater than zero i have to display it as it is nothing i have to do okay this any of will we understand that else part means if it is a negative value yes it's a negative value only control comes to what else part so what i am doing here difference of two numbers is before closing the string i am using an iphon because i have to show it as what negative value okay so i have given iphon here done then i am assigning v underscore z to what v underscore str2 so just try to understand what this v underscore str1 will contain it contains what something like this difference of what two numbers okay is it will contain this value okay that is v underscore str1 and inside v underscore str2 what you are doing we are assigning v underscore z what is there in v underscore z 13 minus so this is available done so both are string variables now then what i am doing i took another string variable v underscore tem i am concatenating this str1 and str2 into what v underscore tem so what this v underscore tem becomes now it contains what it contains something like this 
difference of two numbers is so and so and what is the other variable we are concatenating v underscore str2 so it contains like this understood v underscore temp temporary variable contains what this particular string difference of two numbers and what 13 minus but when i'm showing i have to remove this iphone now. so i know that iphone is at the last place okay then what i did here i declared another variable v underscore length which is a what type integer i am having another string function just like concatenate we are having another string function called as str length string length okay string length of v underscore temp okay it will calculate the length of this it will calculate the length of this for example assume that what is the length here so assume that the length is something 45 for example this or assume that the length is what 25 from year to year from year to year the length is what 25 done okay now now what i am doing is here i have to remove the iphone from the last position now. so what you have to understand is just observe this yeah i declared another variable v underscore position equal to v underscore length minus one so why i said v underscore length minus one means see the concept here what is the length i got 25 okay 25 is the overall length now i am saying what v underscore position equal to length minus one so v underscore position becomes how much 24 because i said what length minus one now what i am doing here in my final variable v underscore msg is equal to what is the logic i wrote here v underscore temp so my entire content is there in this only na? in this only okay so plus zero of what so and so what is this zero means zero indicates the first position means the position of this the string index in ABAP the string index starts from what zero so this is zero one two three four kind of thing am i clear to everyone okay the index starts from what zero okay the position of d is what zero the position of y is what one so what is the meaning of this in the string so and so starting from the index zero starting from the index zero extract how many characters these many number of characters how many 24 so i said like this what is the logic here v underscore msg is equal to v underscore temp plus zero of what v underscore position what is the v underscore position 24 means starting from the index zero extract up to what 24th index extract up to what 24th index am i clear so what happened now this will be ignored now this will be ignored because i said length minus one okay this will be ignored so i'll get only up to what difference of two numbers is up to what 13 only that is showing which variable v underscore what msg so v underscore msg contains what value now this value up to this without iphone i'll have this value hope it's clear then after that i am just displaying the message so the main thing is string length will return what length of the string then i said position equal to length minus one why length minus one because i know that in above the index of the string starts from what zero position zero position okay so that's the reason i said what length minus one so starting from the index zero extract how many number of characters 24 characters overall length is what 25 so starting from the index zero extract 24 characters means up to this only overall length is 25 it will extract only first 24 characters starting from the index zero that's what i am doing here any questions please ask me okay so let me try to show the debugging okay means i want to know how it is executing internally okay so for that what you have to do we have to debug the program okay debugging again now it will discuss elaborately going for it but just to give you the glimpse of the debugging okay let us see how to do it so debugging is what it is a process of what checking the flow of program execution step by step means by debugging we can understand how the control is flowing in the program from one place to another place so in order to debug in order to debug we need to set what breakpoints in order to debug we need to set what breakpoints in order to set the breakpoints the program should be in what active status 
the program should be in active status anyway it is active i am not interested to debug the entire code i am interested to debug only this part which part the different part so what i'll do i'll okay let me put the breakpoint here otherwise where inside the, that selection skin on radio button group i'll put the breakpoint how do you put the breakpoint so here put the cursor anywhere on that line on the application toolbar you can see set a session breakpoint so what is a breakpoint a breakpoint is like a signal to the system it is a signal to the system which will stop the program execution whenever it is encountered so i'll put the cursor here i'll click on what set session breakpoint so done ah, i'm getting an error you can only set the breakpoints in an active unchanged source it is as of now inactive here let me activate once again So I'm putting the breakpoint here. Done. So you can see this is the breakpoint signal. So how do we execute the program? F8. I'm executing. I got the selection screen fine. Now observe here. I'll enter something 56. Done. I'll choose difference. The moment I select the difference, what is the event triggered? At selection screen on radio button group. So I have set the breakpoint in that event now. It will stop there. See here. I'll choose difference. Yes. It is stopping in that event. Why it is stopping? Because I have set the breakpoint. Whenever the control comes here, whenever the control uh, what encounters the breakpoint, it will stop the execution. Okay. So I have interacted with the second radio button now. What is the function code of that group? FC1. So see the value of SIUCOM. When I double click on SIUCOM, what I got? FC1 means you have interacted with that group only. Then with what radio button you have interacted? Second one now. So see the value of P underscore R1. If I type P underscore R1, it is showing it as space here, which indicates what? It is not selected. I'll choose P underscore R2. It is what? X. Yes, because we have selected the second radio button. If you see P underscore R3, again it is what? Space, because we have not selected that. We have selected what? Second radio button. Done. So cursor is here, here. Arrow pointer you can see. How do we execute one statement at a time? Press what? F5. Press F5. So what is the value of SIUCOM? FC1. Do we have when FC1? Yes, control will go there. I'll say F5. Done. It is going there. Then when FC1 done, it is checking this first condition. If P underscore R1 equal to X, what is the value of R1? Space. This if condition is not satisfied. So see here, I'll press F5. It is checking the condition. This condition will not be satisfied. Na? So if this if condition is failed, control goes to what? Next else if. So when I say F5, Always press what? F5. Done. It is going to the next condition. What is that? Else if P underscore R2 equal to what? X. Else if P underscore R2 equal to X. Yes, this condition is satisfied. Na? R2 contains X only. So when I say F5, since the condition is satisfied, it will enter this if block. It will enter this else if block. So when I say F5, yes, it is entering inside the else if block because that condition is satisfied. Now see the value of P underscore X, double click, P underscore X is 20, P underscore Y is how much? 56. And if you see V underscore Z, by default it contains what? 0. We have not yet performed the difference. When I say F5, the current statement will be executed. So let me say F5. Yes. What is the result I got? In V underscore Z, what is the result? 36 minus. Always the negative symbol will be captured in the right hand side. So then I am checking the condition again. Nested if, if within the if. If V underscore Z is greater than or equal to 0, what is the value? 36. Minus 36, na? so it is a negative value. So what happens? This if condition is failed. It will go to what? Else if. So when I say F5, yes, it is going to the else part. It is going to the else part. Now, see here. I am saying, uh, what is the value I stored in V underscore str1? As of no space. So let me say F5. Done. So V underscore str1 contains what? Difference of two numbers is? iPhone up to this. Then V underscore Z value, I am assigning to what? V underscore str2. So if you see V underscore str2, as of now it is blank. As of now it is blank. V underscore str1 is so and so. And V underscore str2 is blank. I'll say F5. Done. So what is there in V underscore str2? What? 36 minus. Okay. Done. So just observe this. Let me remove all this since I am not interested in this. So V underscore str1 is so and so. What is the other variable? I will remove all these things. 
what is the other variable v underscore str 2 okay these are the two values then if you observe v underscore temp nothing is there what i am doing here fi i am trying to concatenate combine these two and put it inside what v underscore temp so see the value of v underscore temp now when i say fi when i say fi yes what does it contain difference of two numbers is hyphen followed by what 36 minus okay then what i am doing i am calculating the length if you see v underscore length as of now zero what this string length function will do it will calculate the length of this particular string what is the length i got see when i say fi uh, what is the length here 34 it seems the length of this entire string is what 34 it seems then i am saying v underscore position equal to length minus one so when i say fi yeah what i got 33 position is what 33 then if you observe this v underscore msg what i am doing start in the string v underscore temp starting from the index zero means the index of d is what zero always the index of above string starts from what zero only so starting from the index zero extract how many number of characters what is the value of v underscore position what is the value of v underscore position 33 so starting from the index zero extract how many characters 33 characters overall length is what 34 but i am saying what extract only 33 characters starting from what index zero so if you see v underscore mrg this will be executed now fi done what i got difference of two numbers is minus 36 done and then i am displaying the message how do you come out of the break uh, debugging mode this is called the debugging mode how do we come out of this f8 okay i got the result i came out of the program so don't worry about the debugging i will discuss the debugging almost in every program going forward we'll discuss elaborately just i want to show you how this logic is getting executed internally so in order to debug first of all the program should be in active state we need to set the breakpoints so that whenever we start the execution whenever the breakpoint is encountered the control will stop there from there you can debug step by step by pressing what f5 and at any point of time to come out of the debugging press what f8 hope this is clear any questions please ask me <clears throat> done so we have seen uh, three events so far initialization event start of selection event and what else at selection screen on radio button group so tomorrow we'll see other examples and we'll try to understand other events done so if you don't have any questions i'll wind up for today Chaladan shall wind up. We'll continue tomorrow.